Hey, listen, we got none other than Austin. We love Austin, of course, and we do have Saltine, who has Yo. been on quite a journey. I got to say, man, I'm a fan of what you and Ollie have been doing out there. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's been uh, quite the journey, and it's uh, kind of come to an end. Yeah. Um, Why did you, did you make it to Alaska? Oh, we did. Yeah, all the way up to Dead Horse, uh, which is, uh, you go up the Dalton Highway, it's the ice truckers oh road. My God, that's uh, terrifying. It's actually like one of the most dangerous roads in the U.S., if not the world. Yeah. Uh, so went the farthest north from Massachusetts to Maine just to hit the border of Canada there. Mm. Then back through the U.S., down to like Tennessee, went up to Sturgis in the South Dakota, uh, Montana, a few other states, Washington, then uh, Canada. Tell us where it and started and, and how long, how far you guys went. Where it started, like I said, from Massachusetts. So Massachusetts yeah. all the way up to Alaska. How many miles oh. is that? Uh, normally, I think it would be roughly like seven thousand or something. But we did a lot of detours and whatnot. A uh, total of like, I think the circumference of the Earth is like not much more than that. Yeah, Jesus. So and you did but, it on a motorcycle. We, we did a total of fifteen thousand miles. Okay, listen, yeah. I doubled up tandem i i do ride myself but it's just funnier to do it tandem plus i don't have a motorcycle license for fifteen thousand so, miles yeah tandem easy rider style yeah you know it's about the game. That, that's pretty gay it's i would say I gay, gay, but yeah. i gotta say but ali is they were both on acid so you can just uh, say yeah, not the nothing is time. gay when you're on acid you know what yeah, i mean well, remember that rule i don't agree <laughs> <laughs> plus uh you know it was a honda goldwing with uh there's a backrest and, yeah oh no and you chilling. weren't like you weren't not, touching him not technically butts to nuts yeah it know? wasn't butts to nuts it was butts that's, important. that's important butts to i was gonna seat. mention that it was, yeah. so, uh, tell us about the bike dude uh it was a honda goldwing 94 wow um and things a beast Oh, that thing's a fucking beast. It's a 1500, GL 1500. Damn. And, um, yeah, dude, uh, it did have some problems actually making it up to Dead Horse. And then uh, we fixed a lot of those things like the mm -hmm. valve stem and uh, rear trunk kind of like broke through a little bit mm -hmm. of it. But no crashes, nothing, nothing too bad, man. I had to yeah. explain to my mom that like it wasn't gay, <laughs> that he was on the back of another yeah. man's motorcycle. I mean, and it's, then like a week later... I was having the conversation with my dad, and I had to explain to him again Bro. why, like, it wasn't yeah. gay. I'm like, there's two seats. Yeah. Were you ever, were you able to, rest. yeah, were you yeah. successfully able to do it? I was. They were still dubious about it. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, but uh, a little closer to your mouth. I was, at Austin, yeah. you know, it, it helped being the navigator plus cameraman a lot of the yeah. times. He wouldn't have got a lot of the shots that he did. I love what you guys back. did, bro. Yeah. Like it, it looks Appreciate like quite the project. Dude. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, you got, got a your ballsy for sleeping out. There. Like you hammock oh, yeah. it up. Oh, yeah. I hammocked it up in Grizzlyland. We did have a lot of his fans along the way through the lower 48, which is like the continental part of the U.S. Yeah. Um, had a bunch of those people let us stay at their houses. Uh, Canada, not so much. So a lot of camping in Grizzlyland. Grizzlyland there had a a couple places in Alaska, but we still camped out in Alaska, too. Um, yeah, dude. I mean, it, it was fucking crazy. Yeah. A lot of great memories. A lot of yeah. great footage, too, that needs to be edited. Um, but, yeah. How much acid were you doing every day? Not really much, man. We probably did, like, maybe two, three doses the whole trip. Um, so it was good? No. Nah. No, no, no. Well, you said if it was on acid. It yeah. Yeah. No. It's not gay. It's not gay if it was. They didn't. They only did ask. But you only did so was kind of gay then. Yeah. Well, he also has a girlfriend and uh, is a man of God. So. Oh, he's got a chick uh, now. Oh yeah. He's uh, dude. He is an interesting character. I've spent some time with him. And, yeah, he's uh, he's fucking awesome. He's a man, dude. We'll yeah, have him on the man. pod. You both, when he's down here, you both should be on the pod and talk about oh, yeah. everything that happens. Is Ollie the one who wears the sunglasses? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's dope. Yeah. Ollie's dope. Yeah, he came to good people. I take back all my gay comments. That guy's, yeah, that guy's he dope. came to Good People Comedy Night. <laughs> Shout out Good People Comedy Night. Follow us on Instagram. I was just talking shit on someone I didn't know. If you're in L.A., oh, I do a show every Thursday, and it's bring your own beer, bring your own smoke. It's a lot of fun. Austin, it is pretty I, cool. In fact, Austin, one time, didn't we take girls back to your uh, old studio from that show once? I got... All four girls back yeah. to the studio, <laughs> and then a drunk Swolby. Yeah. Like they made one kind of like yeah. asinine like L.A. girl comment, and yeah. he's just like, "I think y'all should just get the fuck out of it here." It was crazy, man. It was great, and then also it was it was me, you, King Croc, and who else? 
It was a fucked up assortment of guys, dude. They had to choose from. It was fucking. Well, hilarious. it was just me and you, I think, at the comedy at club. At the comedy club, and yeah. And then the three guys were still back at the studio. Mm-hmm. And then I brought all the girls to the studio. Yeah. I'm like, look, guys, I got a girl for every guy. Yeah. And then Swoby just kicked them. The yeah, and so he's like, get the fuck out, yeah, dude. We're like, ah. Oh. Oh, I think that was a funny story. I remember that, dude. That was the funniest fucking story of all time. He was right, though. They were kind of annoying. They were LA. Yeah. You know, we had to you had to pretend to like like, uh, you know, I mean, you know what I miss? I miss your political knowledge, though. What is uh, you know that uh, Fez came out as a strong supporter of Kamala and it lost a lot of the fans. Dude, I've gotten the most DMs, the most hated DMs I've ever gotten from any. We're talking rat dick. We're talking every (laughs) character that's ever been on the pod. I have never gotten the kind of DMs I've gotten about Fez, bro. Like Fed, they're saying they're they're threatening violence in the streets against Fez because he was just, of course, I am voting for Kamala. If you saw the tape, dude, of him like supporting, like you would be like, wow, that's the kind of people they get. I think I watched the clip, bro, they, and they I think get, it's just, I think all the hate is justified. Like, yes, yeah. Jeff's existence lately has just made me like a complete xenophobic monster. Now, mm-hmm. I just like I'm just like I don't even care if you moved here 30 years ago. Legally, you're out, dude. Yeah, no, I do think we should deport Fez, yeah. and he should learn a little something. He should learn. He should be living like you've been living on hammocks. First of all, is there a hammock? That, that hammock wouldn't hold Fez, would it? Uh, not that one. It was a cheap Walmart <laughs> one. No, definitely not, dude. Um, okay, for how do you sleep? How does your back feel on hammock? So here's the thing. I mean, Austin knows about it. Uh, it's called saltine position, mm-hmm. and uh, I can fall asleep in pretty much any spot literally if i had my shoulder against the wall right there just leaning against it i could fall asleep comfortably you get some so. rem dude in some fucked up places I've yeah, seen it. yeah yeah you know it is it's fucked up but yeah, you, but you it should, works you should get the tape to cover your mouth though because i do believe that all the the mouth breathing you do at oh, night yeah. is probably unhealthy oh yeah well, i probably got some spiders crawling up in there and shit that's yeah. true that's yeah. apparently that's a thing yeah like Leo, yeah. you have a habit of like buying everything you see on Instagram. Sometimes, yeah. And like lately, I've been seeing those like magnetic nose strips. Yes, you can get those, man. I I've been thinking, bro, dude, how did you know that that that's in your algo too? Yeah, you gotta, dude, like, we must be watching the same Leo shit, dude. You got to deviate right a something too, or what? I do, I do have yeah, a deviate. That's something. why I mouth breathe a lot, dude. It's, it's so so if I put okay, so right now I figured out that the breathe right strips, just the ones you can get at yeah, CVS, you press against your nose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can breathe good that way. Yeah. Really nice. So yeah. so the breathe right just does that a little bit. So but it they spreads do have, out. Yeah, it spreads out. So okay. it it spreads. So like the the one that so I always have a nostril that just doesn't work. So, so that one will get like. It deviated septum, yeah. yeah. So the one that doesn't work when you do the breathe right thing, it, it adds maybe like 15 to 20 percent more oxygen in there. So it helps you sleep and not snore. Cause I, you know, I don't snore loudly, snore. but I snore a little bit sometimes on the road if like I'm plugged up or something and I don't have my my breathe right. It's like I'll 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 snore a little bit and like, you know, I'm sleeping with Danny and fucking the camera guy. So it's a little annoying, but yeah, the breathe right. That's a makes, little gay. It's a little gay, but we, it's for you know uh, team Contact. building. Team building, uh, okay. But then the uh, sure. the breathe right helps. So I've been seeing the magnetic ones, and that really like expands. It's nice. It looks pretty pretty magnetic. nice. You need those. You How need does those. that work? Yo, I'll, like, I'll buy one. I'll buy them for you. It's like okay. basically like a band aid sticks good. a magnet on either side of your nose, right? And then there's this metal bar that mm-hmm. then grabs onto the magnet and pulls your nose apart. Yeah, and it really it really helps, man, because I think a lot of people have a deviated symptom. But yeah, for you specifically, I think the the mouth breathing at night could be detrimental to your health long term. You're you're young now, but if you gotta if you can figure it out, maybe put the tape over and then put the deep the, mm-hmm. the thing on your nose, you might be able to sleep like that. Right. And that'd be that'd be nice. Saltines yeah. is bad, but I'm convinced Jeff dies like three times every night while he's asleep mm-hmm. just goes into full cardiac arrest and then somehow snaps out of it oh 100 percent, he does hey, you nailed it he does 100 <laughs> it's uh it's, it's worrisome dude it, he shakes the ground when night, he snores when he snores yeah it's, yeah it's, it's like kind a of subwoofer ruman's uh, brother suli also would snore like that suli was the dude he's the nicest guy in the world he one time we were sleeping at an Airbnb in New York, Airbnb in New York, and uh, some girls came by and they were like sleeping on the couch and like Fez, sorry, uh, Suli was like, dude, I'm just going to sleep in the car. And he was like, I'm not going to ruin the night for you guys. And he just, he told us at some point it was like, we were all drunk and he just like, it was almost like one of those, like a meme, dude. He just like shakes my hand and he goes, I'm going to go sleep in the car. It's like Danny getting Fan Jerry a separate hotel room. Fan Jerry, bro, is that it, Fan Jerry is like one of those bear like, 
uh, snores where it's like <laughs> the whole night. So you're 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 not sleeping. In his feet are just like this toxic miasma oh, that fuck. fills the hotel room. All right, is it a deal breaker if a girl snores? Yeah, um, I think so too. It kind of, you know what they? That's they, That's they, masculine. That's a. That's a. Yeah, you, you don't bring that shit in the bedroom. Is it a, <laughs> yeah, you that's better. masculine as fuck. Is it, a deal, is, is it a deal breaker if a girl has a dick? No. Yes. 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 It's not a girl, whether they think <laughs> that they are is or not. a man. Thank God you're in town again. I'm going to let Danny know our nuke is in town again. You know, <laughs> basically Danny does a video, and then when there's a, something that just horrific that he does not want to do, like. <laughs> go into a public arena and say something loudly, we call Saltine and we pay him a, a few bucks and then Saltine does the move, dude. And it's been great. Like every time we've done it, <laughs> I feel like he's part of some giant videos, but every time we do it, Salt, it, it's it's hilarious. Well, I watched the last one. I, I was like, oh, he's, I thought at the beginning you were fucking with him. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, he's serious. Oh, no, and then yeah. that's what made it so much better. The no, whole time. I, mean, I was like, oh, he's I mad, man. playing into like some shit too, yeah, though. Yeah, like I will say that. Like, yeah. obviously I was definitely a little mad in, in ways, but y'all were recording. So it had to be Well, it's because good. like a lot of people just I watch can... the main channel videos sporadically. It's like they were consistently fucking with Saltine about this for like two oh, months. Oh, so it was just belt Yeah, it was. So it was like, I had that feel. I had that, yeah, yeah. It was boiling point. It yeah. was 100% building to the boiling point. And, and <laughs> I mean, the YouTube boiling point. Like, yeah, yeah. But, uh, us, I mean, yeah, because I just, I, I I have like this big brother energy around Saltine. And like sometimes like when you, you have fights with your little brother, you know what I mean? So it was just like, you know, you just got to make just, you tougher. So, yeah, he was saying that he gets more pussy than me. And that was a really triggering. Yeah, Leo oh, was not about Danny, that life. Danny, it was Danny triggering. was like, yo. Keep saying that actually on camera. So I'm like, fuck mm -hmm. it, dude. I'm just going to keep saying this throughout the whole day. It became it's the video. I mean, fuck. like, that is what we do. Like, okay. The, the, yeah. We found out with Danny. I mean, there is a portion of the videos that we want to have like a script, but like the magic or magic happens all the time when it, we're just like kind of rolling with the punches. So you, you could have gone the angle where you were like, all right, guys, like, let's fucking go. Yeah. I'm going to be like on your side and let's do this together. Yeah. Or you could, you could fight us. And then when you, when you were doing that, then we had to make the video about that. And it was great. And I do think <laughs> it was great. It probably made it much better than it was going to be randomly. Cause it was kind of, you know, not what he calls an off day video, which I never, every off day video, he's like, oh yeah, you know, off day video. I'm like, oh, cause we're shooting one day, but we're going hard with Saltine. I don't understand. That's not really an off day. Often those become kind of classics. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I will say that they, what, what you guys do is fucking insane, bro. Like coming from like a filmmaking background then what you guys do on YouTube, you guys got to mm -hmm. figure out on the day. It's almost like documentary style with filmmaking, mm -hmm. with actual storytelling. Cool. But what yeah. I wanted to get to Mr. Saltine, mm -hmm. I'm oh, from Las no. Vegas. Nice. You've got this fucking evil Knievel look to you, brother. Oh yeah, man. What is well, this? What, this what, is what, a... Talk about this. I, I heard Ali about, told about me. You. Ali, I don't know. I yeah. don't know anything about you. I want to know more about you. I Ali to told me about the suit a little bit. So yeah. it was like you guys paid. It was four hundred bucks. Is yeah. it leather? Yeah, it's real leather. This thing is uh, sick. It was supposed to be motorcycle leather, but it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually, dude, if if we would have crashed during this trip. I would have been fucking dead. Yeah. And also, I have another man's <laughs> life, or another man that is holding my life. It's a dead evil can evil. Yeah, it's a dude. dude. It's, it's been terrible. They've been terrible for the kids. Uh, yeah, it, no, so, it was terrifying. I was I was praying so, for you guys. At some point. Did the boots uh, come with it? Uh, no. So these okay. are Walmart, um, like fake Doc Martens that I spray paint. Yeah, yeah. They looked much better at the start of the trip, but it's been about like two months. Have you worn that? These. Have you changed since the trip? A little bit, like uh. Obviously, underwear and socks and stuff I would wash no uh, dry, but the fucking that thing has ball sweat in it. Like you yeah, wouldn't believe, bro. This this is my fit. He asked me when he got in the car, like, do they like dry clean leather? Yeah, because I never. They do. Fuck, they How do. many women have you slept with in that in this getup? In this shit, bro, not I didn't have not no yet. time to sleep with no chicks, bro. Oh, fuck, that's my so dude. Right I'm here. worried about you in L.A. Right, right now. I mean, it okay? Maybe not because it seems pretty likely. That, that, that you'll get some help for being homeless, but you're are you gonna try to just like really be homeless in LA? Uh, well, I I I was actually in the past. Um, I know, but, but you yeah. had a car, right? No, no. When I when I was homeless the first time ever in LA, I had no car, no. F I mean, I'm from LA originally, but I had no friends at the time. Mm -hmm. Out here, I had family, but you know, I don't really like to go to family for, like, help and stuff like that. Sure. I like to just deal with shit on my own. And um, I've been hammocking throughout the whole U.S., even up in Alaska, bear country. 
And, uh, you know, I think I'll be straight. I'm going to probably pick somewhere like close to Malibu, like in the fucking woods, hammock there. During the day, go do what I got to do, you know, work, stack my money, save up, not have to pay rent, you know. I know, but Malibu, you got you to make sure you're close to like a 7-Eleven or some shit for water and all that. Uh, nah, man. I could, um, if if there's like a nearby water source, I could just use a filter or if, you know, I could carry big jugs on me and then fucking, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. All right, listen, I'm worried about nah, you doing I'll be, that. I'll be chilling, man. A little bit. I, I'll, I'll, I, I, I used Austin, to hang around about fucking... Saltine being homeless in L.A. right now. Um, I think, like, Hollywood Boulevard taking pictures in the suit. Oh, Honestly, dude, yeah, that's what, yeah. one of my ideas, bro. I, I think totally... you can make 100 bucks doing that in, like, three hours. Yeah, that's what I was... Dude, when I was at Mount Rushmore with Ollie... Uh, we were doing like a prank where I fake charge people for money and people are giving me money. Can you Google Take young me. evil Knievel? See what he looks like? Well, he doesn't have the same hair as me. He kind of has like that uh, Elvis like slick back. But, but maybe nobody you should have this hair. Bro, you got to buy in. Nah. I think you got to buy in 100%. Nah. Yeah. I got my own thing, bro. People like, but take he's not photos. that young there. He's not 23. He, he's old there. Anyways, bro, it doesn't really matter. Like, no, I like, I like our shit. boys look right here. This yeah. is, this is the, if I were to like. Next have, gen. Next gen. Have a fucking image of Evil Knievel, this mm -hmm. would be the dude right here. Yeah. Salt team, bro. He's young, so he's got like a long career. He can grow it. Yeah. He can grow into it. Kind of when you mature. Video of that too, like seeing how much I can make on Hollywood Boulevard is like whatever how much do you think you would street performer whatever you call it um i don't know dude that's kind of hard to judge uh i've never done it so who do you think who do you think would make more you <laughs> as evil knievel or leo as aquaman we could do that we could, we could post uh, post up no i got leo it leo would crush my, it depends on dude, my I like costume i had dude if you go in full costume you're gonna fuck like he, they said they said he would win it, it, Bro, no, obviously I, he wouldn't win. well but. i don't know i just don't think leo would commit to the costume. no he if he had uh if it was a bet what do you okay, think about if that, you had a team? good costume just for old time's sake <laughs> Uh, this thing's pretty impressive, bro. bro. I just I type love that in, thing. I That's just type in evil like Knievel. Leo, bro. Like, dude, it's just evil Knievel. I just typed in evil Knievel, and this is what came up. That's bro. fucked That's up. Dude. Fun, that is dude. fucked this up. This is dude. wild. Uh,